March 28, 2022 Second Chronicles 6 12-21 God's Renewing Word of Prayer Introduction Second Chronicles 6 12-21 Today's reading is the first part of Solomon's prayer of dedication of the temple. In his prayer, Solomon acknowledges God's faithfulness in the fulfillment of God's promises. He asks God to hear his prayers and those of the people. Scripture reading, Solomon's Prayer. 12. Then in the presence of the people Solomon went and stood in front of the altar and raised his arms in prayer. 13. Solomon had made a bronze platform and put it in the middle of the courtyard. It was 8 feet square and 5 feet high. He mounted this platform, knelt down where everyone could see him, and raised his hands toward heaven. 14. He prayed, Lord God of Israel, in all heaven and earth there is no God like you. You keep your covenant with your people and show them your love when they live in wholehearted obedience to you. 15. You have kept the promise you made to my father David. Today every word has been fulfilled. 16. Now, Lord God of Israel, keep the other promise you made to my father when you told him that there would always be one of his descendants ruling as king of Israel, provided that they carefully obeyed your law just as he did. 17. So now, Lord God of Israel, let everything come true that you promised to your servant David. 18. But can you, O oh God, really live on earth among men and women? Not even all of heaven is large enough to hold you, so how can this temple that I have built be large enough? 19. Lord my God, I am your servant. Listen to my prayer and grant the requests I make to you. 20. Watch over this temple day and night. You have promised that this is where you will be worshipped, so hear me when I face this temple and pray. 21. Hear my prayers and the prayers of your people Israel when they face this place and pray. In your home in heaven hear us and forgive us. Today's key verse. 2 Chronicles 6 14. Solomon prayed, Lord God of Israel, in all heaven and earth there is no God like you. You keep your covenant with your people and show them your love when they live in wholehearted obedience to you. Reflect what is included in Solomon's prayer. How would you describe his prayer? How would you describe your own prayer life? In what ways do you experience a covenant relationship with God? Let's pray, Lord God, in your home in heaven, you hear us when we pray. Trusting in your forgiving love, I offer you my repentant heart. In your holy name I pray. Amen. Tomorrow's reading, 2 Chronicles 6 22-42. Solomon continues his prayer on behalf of the people. Thank you for watching. Please share, like and follow. More blessings to you.